Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Authentic Faith, for Friday at May 28th. Our theme is Boaz and Caring for Others, and really is a continuation of our devotion from yesterday on Ruth. Now, uh, Ruth uh, came back with Naomi to Bethlehem and began to glean from a field uh, of a man named Boaz, who is a wealthy farmer. And uh, our story comes uh, from, uh, uh, from Ru- the book of Ruth uh, when uh, Boaz asks about this woman who is gleaning from his field. So our reading comes from uh, Ruth chapter 2. Boaz said to Ruth, My daughter, listen to me. Don't go and glean in another field, and don't go away from here. Stay here with the women who work for me. Watch the field where the men are harvesting, and follow along after the women. I have told the men not to lay a hand on you. And whenever you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. At this, she bowed down with her face to the ground. She asked him, Why have I found such favor in your eyes that you notice me, a foreigner? Boaz replied, I've been told all about what you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you left your father and mother and your homeland and came to live with the people you did not know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. May I continue to find favor in your eyes, my Lord, she said. You have put me at ease by speaking kindly to your servant, though I do not have the standing of one of your servants. At mealtime, Boaz said to her, Come over here, have some bread, and dip it in the wine vinegar. When she sat down with the harvesters, he offered her some roasted grain. She ate all uh, she wanted and had some left over. As she got up to glean, Boaz gave orders to his men, Let her gather among the sheaves and don't uh, reprimand her. Even pull out some stalks for her from the bundles and leave them for her to pick up, and don't rebuke her. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Boaz didn't have to do what he did. He was extra kind and generous to Ruth, and all because of what she had done of how she was kind and cared for Naomi, to be able to glean from the fields and how hard of a worker she was. Boaz saw this, wanted to help her, and offered uh, her uh, food and water and uh, protection, and even uh, an easier work uh, so that she didn't have to glean so hard. How do you help care for others? When people are in need, uh, we uh, have the option of giving them a hand up or a hand out. And sometimes both are needed. Sometimes we need to walk with them and care for them and help them in their needs to be able to talk with them, not just give them a hand out sometimes. That's what we hope to do at St. Philip uh, with uh, Love, Inc. in the diaper ministry that we will be uh, hosting at St. Philip in the fall and uh, being able to really help people in their need. There is so much need going on right now. Well, may we have that servant heart to care and to help others in their need. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for blessing us. Lord, uh, help us to be a blessing to others. When we see someone who is in need, uh, Lord, uh, may you speak to us and uh, have us uh, help them in their needs as we are able. 
So, Lord, we give you thanks for uh, you showing us the way through your Son who cared and helped others in their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you with faith. May God fill you with hope and may God surround you with love. Amen. Have a blessed day.